Really good afternoon. Really, what did we get into so far today? Did you do your strength this morning? And maybe M30? So, today we are going to do kind of a play off of Mayhem 30's last compete, but just uh, a little more, uh, we'll call it more of a Mayhem uh, Monday <laughs> workout. So, it's kind of a play off that workout. And as you guys have heard me say, many times so we usually start out with a mayhem athlete 30 workout uh so they're like 30 minute minimal equipment or body weight workout so if you need awesome daily programming check out mayhemathlete.com they have tracks for everything from home workouts to competitive athletes they're really great so we're kind of taking one of those workouts and making it mayhem crazy <laughs> i hope you guys are ready for a good one today <laughs> i'm excited <laughs> uh so we'll have a body weight option and a minimal equipment option and we'll get right into it alex how's it going i know i got so um sidetracked last week because i was going to go live the day of the storm then i was going to go live friday and then it just ended up getting too crazy so i'm sorry i missed uh the extra day last week guys so we'll make it up this week i promise but this is going to be a back pocket to save dumbbell workout and a back pocket to save body weight workout. I've seen some really fun things as our prehab. Well, I'm having us do as an EMOM, so we get it done efficiently and in a fun way. So I'm also going to encourage you guys to get some bands. I've been doing a lot of stuff with bands lately, and it has been lighting me on fire. <laughs> my glutes and my hamstrings and my upper body. So I want you guys to get on this the uh, this fire train. <laughs> Alex, I don't know what a fire train is or if it's the opposite of a, you know, <laughs> um, fire truck, but I want you guys to jump on. Valerie, how's it going? Erica, how's it going? Erica, did you say you're in transit right now? Larry, what is good? Little Bear says hi. She's extra fluffy. She got a bath this weekend. She's got the wind in her hair. She's feeling great. She's loving life right now. Ooh, chest this morning. Willie, I did um, a Mayhem compete workout, the bench one from the other day. Oh, my gosh. My chest is still sore because I added an extra round to it. I hadn't done a heavier bench and high rub bench in a while. Holy mackerel. So my chest is still sore from <laughs> doing that on Saturday. Oh, you are home today, Willie. Well, Willie, I have a fabulous workout for you if you uh, just need another workout. Oh, is he okay, Erica? We send prayers for speedy recovery. Hopefully he's doing okay. How's it going, gang? All right, so let's talk about our prehab e-mom. Oh, my gosh, so fun. Also, these bands are super cheap on Amazon, so... They don't have to be anything fancy name brand band. I just find the ones that are like five bucks from Amazon. <laughs> I don't need these. I think I got with like a pair of Reebok shoes or something. Oh, is he okay, Erica? Valerie, what was good this weekend? Alex, what was good this weekend? Larry, what was good this weekend? <laughs> oh, that's good, Erica. It's always good to just uh, better be safe than sorry, right? Oh, no. <laughs> well, Erica, what a field trip. <laughs> Gee, we guys could stop and get some ice cream or something. Make it a home run. <laughs> Although, you probably want the opposite for a sore throat, huh? Probably something warm. All right, so let's talk about a prehab warm-up, and then we will talk about our body weight workout and minimal equipment. Like I said, it is... Um, a pretty brutal one in a good way. I haven't decided if it's going to be double dumbbell or single dumbbell. I think I'm going to do a hybrid of both because just question mark sets. Alex, you're going to do this. But again, it's kind of um, the main workout is basically a sandwich of some running. I, mean, I say sandwich, meaning there's a run at the beginning, a run at the end. And it had, I believe it was pull ups and air squats in the middle. Um, so we're going to make it multiple sets and we're going to keep the run in every round. Uh, it's kind of more of like a, a Murph style, honestly. I saw that um, the Compete Athletes did a, a version with chest bar and 
rowing earlier today. So I just went back to the run version and it's basically just a fabulous dumbbell <laughs> workout. And if you are home and you just want to do body weight, I have a really fun body weight workout on the agenda too. So there. <laughs> Ooh. Next Monday. Oh, right, Alex. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You think I get out more, but I don't actually get out of time. So <laughs> I just didn't think about it. I'm going to ask one of my friends what their favorite stuff around there is, too. Oh, Erica. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was a quick visit, huh? Nationals for Homeschool Basketball Tournament. 30 games, Valerie. Oh my gosh. I remember those, uh, those basketball days. Ah, uh, so just so much fun. Such good energy. It's like the gym smell with the basketball sound. Yeah. Been there. Did that for quite a long time. <laughs> basketball is one of my first love sports. I can't believe it's already next week, Alex. That's awesome. <laughs> I get it, Alex. Well, you guys feel free to jump in. I know, Erica, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's better that it wasn't anything, Erica, for sure. Oh my gosh, this version of this uh, YouTube safe music is cracking me up. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's talk about our prehab today. So we're going to go three times through, and it's going to be on the minute style. Keep us moving. You can take a... Um, a rest in between sets if you like. Uh, I just would keep the one to three minutes, uh, about 45, 50 seconds of work on those, and then you can transition to that next movement. So we'll just say 45 seconds, 45 seconds on, and then 15 seconds to move on to that next movement. So every minute on the minute is just keeping you moving. If you feel like you need a break in between that or to get um, grab water or something else that you need to warm up, feel free to do that little bear's digging something out there. Um, but we're going to get rocking and rolling. Billy, I have some prehab for you. Oh, I missed a, a little mark just to make sure it looks so you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Erica, did you say you were home? How was home? All right, there we go. Now you can see it a little more clearly. A little bit, where are you digging, bud? She's digging a yoga mat. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so this is gonna be a fun one. Let's rock and roll. Uh, Alex, what are you gonna do with the kiddo today? That's so fun. Well, you guys could always do this body weight workout, Alex. I'll just, I'll flash them up for you guys real quick and then we'll get into the warm-up. So uh, the VMO squat guys is your heel elevated squat. So if you have here, what are you looking for, bud? Uh, if you have a stand, you can use that. But if you don't, if you just have like a plate or a step or even the handle of a dumbbell, any of these ledges work. So if I'm gonna use the slim, but this heel elevated squat you can do on a plate. Uh, you could even elevate your heel off of a dumbbell um any or all of the above works so i just want you to see that you can accomplish that raising those heels on objects plates whatever you need to be to get that done so the whole point of the emo squat and if you mastered this and first things first you want your knees to be able to do it with body weight and that actually takes some time to work up to. So if you've mastered the body weight, you can add a dumbbell goblet, as we like to say, and add a little bit of weight to it. But I would encourage you to do body weight first, just to make sure you're achieving the perfect position for the VMO squat. So that's from the knees over toes guy. You guys have heard me talk about him quite a bit. So what this essentially is, is you see a lot of people will keep that knee back and end up hinging forward on their squats. But the whole point of this is I'm going to keep that chest tall. You're so silly. So my shoulders are going to stay over my hips the whole time, and it is my knees 
that are driving forward. So a lot of times you hear me cue as we do regular squats, pushing those hips back. But in this case, I'm keeping that upper body tall. Still hitting one of my band. And I'm pushing those knees forward first. So if I have, I mean, you can have your hands in any position. And those knees are going over those toes. So my hips are saying, my shoulders, trying to keep that chest up, hips, it's the knees that are traveling forward here. If you need to counterbalance something or hold on to something, you can, but just notice these VMO squats are being initiated by the knees. So this is a great, great way to keep those knees nice and healthy. So what we're going to do is these controlled VMO squats. If you need to counterbalance, sometimes a counterbalance is helpful. But what I don't want to see is you pushing those hips back and your chest coming forward and your shin staying vertical on this squat. Your heels are elevated so you can push those knees forward and try to keep that chest tall. Again, if you need to hold on to something, you can, but we'll have a 45 second, because we're doing those emons every minute on the minute, 45 seconds of controlled VMO squats. And if that's too much, you can just do 45 seconds of air squats if that just feels way too intense for you. <laughs> I know, Larry, the wind was so crazy this week, and I'm glad everyone stayed safe. Oh, uh, which recipes? From the cupcakes? Blake, howdy, how's it going? Well, okay, how did the open end up? Okay, Willie, deal. As long as you do it sometime this week. <laughs> Alex, I get it. No, he calls it silly extra running. Mm-hmm, I love running out. All right, guys, so minute two of the free have a warm up is going to be fire hydrants. So, again, if you want a little bit of extra, you know, quote unquote, booty gains here, develop those boots. A little bit, come here, buddy. You're tangled. So if you want a little bit extra on these fire hydrants and you have a band, you're more than welcome. If you don't have a band, they still burn. <laughs> and what they look like is you have this band, not around your knees, but right above your knees. And you'll be in that tabletop position, meaning those shoulders stacked over those wrists, hips over knees. And so for 30 seconds, you're going to extend your left and then 30 seconds you're going to extend that right obviously you can grab a band with the tension and if not body weight is great too uh just realize guys it's not a shift of the hips so you're not seeing me open up my hip to raise my knees i'm staying in that tabletop position and it's I'm just elevating that knee i'm trying to get it to parallel i have super tight hips so again working on it but i'm just saying it's not a rotation you're keeping that pelvis neutral as you're trying to raise the right and then the left leg or vice versa. It'll be 30 seconds of each side. So you'll have 45 seconds of that VMO squat, 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left of the fire hydrant. And last but not least, we have this traveling push-up, which is fun. Oh. No, Blake? Like you'll have to explain to us sometime. I uh, I definitely want to hear hear the whole story. Stefan, long time no see. How's it going, Erica? The cupcakes look so good. Stefan, how's the new job working out in the gym? Looks like everything's great. Blake, is it still shoulder stuff? Oh, how fun, Stefan! Are you gonna take one of the classes or what's your schedule like? All right, gang. Last but not least is this traveling push up. So this is a newer one. I don't believe we have done together, but I really, really like this for uh, shoulder strengthening, mobility. So recognize, guys, you can do these traveling push-ups on your knees if you need to. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to come down into that push-up position. We're going to press up, then we're going to walk that right hand to the right, left hand to the right, push-up. Then we're going to walk left hand, right hand back to center, push-up, left hand, right hand, back to center, push up, and we'll just be traveling. So essentially you have your home spot, you're gonna go right, then back to center, left, and then back to center, and you're gonna do that for 
as far as you can get in 45 seconds. On top of that, again, you can do those on your knees as well. Just remember, guys, we want to work on not having those elbows flare out. We want to keep them nice and tight, engaging those lats for us. We want to use those big muscles while we're uh, muscle groups while we're doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Stefan, I totally get that. Yeah, I'm sure. I feel like everyone, uh, I know it's the week after the open, so, so a lot of times people travel this week, Stefan, just to like unwind or just kind of do their own thing. But I'm sure if someone's around, you should just pop into the coffee shop. There's always willing, uh, willing foodies there and peeps. Wow, Blake, that's, that's awesome though. It's really interesting to hear and uh, I'd love to hear more about it too, just to see like what that entails and how they categorize it, you know? It's really, really interesting. Plus we can help you train. That's the best part. Oh yeah, Stefan, Jake has a brand new baby. Well, Stefan, let me know. I'm usually around here and there. Oh, nice, Stefan. Work proposals, mayhem proposals, tell us everything. All right, guys, so those are our three movements. Uh, I'm going to say uh, protocol will be three times through, and uh, we'll rock and roll. So nine minutes, easy peasy, and then we'll get into this crazy but good workout. <laughs> All right, so again, three times through. Minute one is gonna be 45 seconds of that VMO squat, basically heel elevated squat, just driving those knees forward. Yep, that sounds good, seven. Minute two will be fire hydrant, 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. You can use that band if you want to. And minute three will be 45 seconds of that traveling push up. Willie, wanna get us started if you haven't already left for your church meeting. Valerie, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you at the train with Rich. It's gonna be so fun. It's right around the corner. Yes, Stefan. But that's nothing for me, I'm so used to it. <laughs> Thank you, Whitty, whoop, there it is. Valerie, are you so excited? It's gonna be so fun. We can be workout partners. All right, team, we'll keep it chatting while we get this going. Prehab longevity warm up, here we go. Oh, nice, Stefan. Oh, Valerie, it's like big kid camp. I mean, you can ask Willie, Erica, they've been too. Uh, it's really, really fun. A lot of the crew is gone, actually. You guys, this music today is cracking me up. It's the YouTube safe music, but it's like remixes of everything. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Starting our. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> All right, it's so much fun. I wish you guys could all come again at the same time. That would be so fun. I always look forward to them. They're like one of my favorite things. <laughs> Alex, say the same about you, my friend, the same about you. <laughs> I mean, you'll be sore, but it's fun. Sore is fun, right? All right, guys, starting in 10 seconds, we're gonna start with those 45 seconds. Oh, oh, Siri. All right, team. So remember, it's controlled, pushing those knees over those toes, hips and shoulders. You're trying to keep straight up as possible. Then you're just going to be controlling these squats. Again, you can elevate 
heels on a dumbbell or a plate. Away is it, Valerie? I know it's the end of the month. All right, so. <laughs> oh, Willie. <laughs> Alex. All right, guys, so we're already into our next minute, only two weeks, Valerie. So we're moving into our fire hydro. Remember, try to keep those hips neutral. And you have 30 seconds on the one side, and then you'll switch. We're a little bit late on that one, but five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and push to the other side. Again, you can use that band as well. Great job, guys. 20 seconds. Try to work that full range of skin. 10 seconds. Five. All right, and last but not least, those traveling push ups. Again, you can do them on your knees or in that plank position. Keep those elbows nice and tight. And I'm walking my hand to the right, hand to the right. Push up, right hand back to left, left out one. Push up, right to center, out to left. So just again, working on that shoulder strength, stability here. And again, you can drop the knees if you need to. We're at 30 seconds now. We're going to do this for 45. Great job, guys. Again, don't be afraid to drop to the knees on these. It's challenging. All right, that's 45. 15 second transition. Come back to our VMO squats. Starting in five seconds. And three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Nice and controlled here. So we're starting round two. Gotta love when your prehab is on a timer. Easy peasy, get it done. Great job, gang. That's 30 seconds, so we have 15 more seconds. Remember, we're trying to keep that chest nice and tall. We got it, gang. 20 seconds. All right, so next we're moving back on to in two, one, our 30 second fire hydrant right, 30 second fire hydrant left. So remember, guys, you're in that tabletop position, trying to still keep that pelvis neutral, trying to get that. Knee up to that hip level if you have that level of mobility. I'm working on it. <laughs> working on those hips. And three, two, one. Switching sides for 30. Again, if you have a band, a band is great on these. We'll really get the, uh, Burn a few out of band here as well. Great job, guys. 10 seconds. Then we're going to our traveling push up for 45 seconds and one more round. We got the stroke. Great job. Okay, right into those traveling push ups. So again, you can come into that plank position or those knees dropped. Walking the hand right, left, push up, moving that left hand back to the right. Right back to neutral and push up again. 
left over, right over. Working on our shoulder strength and stability. Great job, guys. 30 seconds. 15 more seconds, please. Then we'll have that transition time in our last round. Great job, guys. And two, one, moving back to our VMO squat. In our fire hydrants. And our traveling push ups, and then we're done. Five seconds, guys. Yay! All right, team. 45 seconds, VMO squat. Chest nice and tall. Pushing those knees forward. Again, you can use assistance here. If this is your first time doing these, we're working on these end range of motion. Trying to strengthen those knees. Maybe we're strengthening the range, mobility, and muscles all around them. Helping those knees out a little bit. Trying to reduce any knee pain we have. All of these have, movements have really, really helped me a ton. Kind of made my knees feel better. For 35 seconds, 10 more seconds here. And we're going to prep for those fire hydrants. In two, one, so 15 seconds, transi transitioning into the 30 seconds of fire hydrants, right, left, then our traveling push ups, and then we're going to talk about our party today, guys. All right, in three, two, one, tabletop position, meaning shoulders stacked over those elbows, I'm starting with the left side, hips over those knees, trying to keep my gaze neutral, and trying to raise. That knee up to that hip without whisking the torso. We got it, gang. Five seconds. More switching sides. And switch. Right or left, whatever side you weren't using. For our last set here, guys. You still have that band and you want to throw it on for the last set. You definitely do that. Things are also a party, a good party. <laughs> We're definitely going to use some more of those. And they're very inexpensive, easy to find on Amazon. All right, two and one. Traveling push up, guys, in that plank position or that dropped knee position. Keeping those elbows nice and tight. Stepping that left hand over, right hand over. Left hand back to right, back to neutral. Left hand to center, right hand out. Back to neutral. You got it, guys. Again, you can start in the plank and then drop the knees. You can start on the knees. Whatever you need to, just 45 seconds here, guys. You have to take a quick break and take those arms up, that's okay. You're still getting the stability and strength here. We got it. And two, one. Okay, pretty hooked up. Already sweating. Gotta love it. Yes, please, gang. <laughs> All right, team. Let's talk fitness. Thanks, Larry. Yay, Valerie! <laughs> Lars, how's it going? Uh, I actually did not know that, Stefan. Who knew Rich was in a Texas roadhouse? <laughs> Could he be the champion of uh, eating something there? Who knows? <laughs> oh, that's so fun, Valerie. Oh, they're going to come hang? Yes, definitely take the kids to Ralph's in Cream City. Those are epic. Christopher, how's it going? Getting into any fitness today, Chris? Christopher, <laughs> thanks for jumping and stopping by. They have some good Airbnbs too. Oh, Valerie, she's gonna love that. She can also like, there's so many things to do in and out the coffee shop and everything too. Seven, I feel like I've driven through it. One of the Mayhem teammates was from there a long while back, I think, because I've definitely heard mention of it. 
So it's the same as it was last year, Stefan. Oh my gosh. Oh, that makes me laugh too. My mom used to uh, make jokes about that name as well. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, crew. Is that where you're from, Stefan? Is that why? All right, guys, let's talk about, I'm going to flash up I'm going to show you briefly our minimal workout, just so you can see it real quick. Then I'm going to put the body weight workout up there and go through that first, and then we'll get back into this minimal workout. But I want you guys to see, I'm sure the, uh, you know, you just can't wait. At least that's how I feel. <laughs> All right, so we have some running devil's press, renegade row, front squat on the agenda today. Brutal, I know. It's Mayhem Monday. <laughs> name appropriate so it's just a little play off of the compete workout and the m30 workout just more running yay alex see i know that uh is your son really out there working out with you <laughs> just kidding all right so we're gonna talk about our body weight workout first so if you do not have a place to run outside or inside or maybe you're just in your living room easier to follow along you want to do high knees don't underestimate high knees I never Never get told saying that because I didn't get that. So they are what you put into them. So if you do not have a place to run, you'll be doing one minute of high knees to start. So you'll be driving those knees nice and high. One minute high knees. So getting that heart rate nice and high. That's how we roll. <laughs> then you're going to move into so question mark sets. I'm going to say minimum minimum four, maximum eight but you get to choose. <laughs> Just kidding, you see how many we do and then that's how many you do, maybe. <laughs> I know Alex, it's Monday, I get a little excited on Monday. You have to save this one. Oh, okay, that's awesome, Stefan, that makes sense. So there for work. So, also this body weight workout, save this one, this is a good one. It's, it's mixing things up a little bit. So, you're gonna start with that one minute of high knees or 200 meter run. Then you're going to go into eight push-up plus mountain climber right and left. So what that means is that's going to be a push-up, mountain climber right, mountain climber left. That equals one rep. So a lot of times I will just say you have a choice between just driving that knee to the chest on a mountain climber. The mountain climber is that plank position, driving those knees nice and high. But today I want you to tap that foot so you have a tactile point of performance. So you can do a plank push-up or a knee push-up. So you'll do your push-up. If you are doing the knee push-up, come to that plank position first and then drop those knees so you're not sticking that booty out in the air. This could be a reference of that straight line body position. All right, you're doing the plank version or the knee version. You're gonna do that push-up, touch that chest to the ground, and then you're gonna mount climber left foot. So I say point of performance, tactile, meaning I'm touching that foot to the ground. Sometimes we just do the mountain climber, driving that knee to the chest. So in real time, push-up, one, two bring that foot back push up one two so you're gonna have push up mountain climber right and left <laughs> i know erica this is a good uh save it for when you're ready for a really brutal workout <laughs> alex i'm just excited to see you guys it's been so many days okay so your 200 meter run then you're having eight push up mountain climber right left then you're going to plank shoulder tap right and left so it says 10 but a right plus left equals one. So you can always, you count 20, 10 is the numbers look better. So plank shoulder tap is once you're done with those push-ups. I know your shoulders are gonna be on fire. You're gonna do 20 shoulder taps or 10 if you count right and left first. Also here guys, if you need to drop those knees on this, if that's just too much shoulders for you today, you can drop the knees there too. So you can adjust accordingly as you move through this. So many options. <laughs> Alex, no, who's angry? Who's angry? <laughs> we just like fitness. <laughs> so after your 10 plank shoulder taps, you're going to 12 air squats plus Cossack squat right and left. So what that looks like is you will do one air squat, step nice and wide, you're trying to get below parallel on that if you can, but if you cannot, that's okay too. So again, and I kind of spot that I can so you can see. So, air squat. So that nice wide, keep that chest tall. If you can get below parallel, you can do that. 
But if not, that's okay. Working that range of motion. So one rep equals air squat. Step wide, Cossack squat left. Step wide, Cossack squat right. So this is a party today, guys. Real fitness party. And then you're finishing up with 200 meter run or one minute of high knees. So body weight workout all the way through, question mark sets. I'm gonna say minimum of four, maximum of eight. You're gonna get 90 seconds rest after each set. It's gonna be 200 meter run or one minute of high knees, eight push up mountain climber right, left. Then you're going into 10 plank shoulder taps, right and left. Then you have 12 air squats, class X squat, right, left. Back to that 200 meter run or one minute of high knees. So that's a body weight party too. We bring the party for all versions today. <laughs> and if you have any questions on that, let me know. So then you'll get to rest 90 seconds and you're gonna perform that four to eight times, depending on where you're at in your fitness journey or how much time you have today or how you're feeling. Or Alex, if you're doing a tutorial for your child and you have to wait and save it, that's okay too. <laughs> All right, guys, so that should be a fun one. I'm excited about that one. Let's talk about our minimal equipment version. All right, this is gonna be brutal. Who doesn't love a brutal Monday workout? Oh, I can't wait. Although I, friends, just so you can see, I didn't differentiate on that. Um, all right, team, here we go. Update. So, see, Alex, I'm being nice here. <laughs> Hi, in, in uh, North Carolina, I almost said New York. NC is not New York, it is North Carolina. <laughs> all right, team. So, again, we're going to do between four and eight sets. Although it seems like you guys are all doing this on your own. So uh, TBD if you're leaving it up to me. <laughs> I like having some reference from you guys, you know. Well, you guys can, I'm sure you can uh, tell by, see, you can, you'll be the scope for me. I get it. You guys can be the thermometer today. You always are. I love it. All right, guys. So, again, you're going to do that 200 meter run or one minute of high knees. I'm going to use a runner today. Then I'm going to move into eight single dumbbell devil's press. So that is a burpee to a dumbbell snatch. And what that looks like is bigger than a burpee. You can you jump back and step back? Same, jump up and step up. You know, where's Gary when you need him? And dumbbell snatch. Keeping that dumbbell legs in close, locking that elbow out of the top. You can switch on the bottom or in the air, whatever works for you. Burpee, dumbbell snack. So you will have eight of those total. And continue this dumbbell party. Grab your other dumbbell. We are doing renegade rows. And you guys are lucky because <laughs> remember when uh, I thought a man maker was a renegade row? We all get confused sometimes. It happens. Well, <laughs> I also thought a renegade row had a push up in it, but. According to everything that I've seen, it does not. So you dodge a bullet on that one. I know, Alex. I feel I'm I'm sad that you're not. But son fitness, father son fitness, totally priority. I get it. But I mean, please heckle me in spirit. It's just not the same, not knowing what we're racing. All right, guys. So renegade or L. On this, guys, just two real quick. You want those feet nice and wide. That's going to give you a little bit extra balance here. And we're not trying to like, same with a regular row. You try to keep it as strict as possible, isolating that muscle. I don't want you guys trying to like jerk that weight back for extra stress on your shoulder. We want us to maintain good position on this. So you are going to have those dumbbells. I have them a little bit outside my shoulders, but basically underneath your shoulders. Just kidding. You want them right underneath your shoulders. Those feet nice and wide, and you're gonna bring that dumbbell back towards your hip again, because we're using those that bigger muscle group, those lats. You don't want to bring it up here and chicken wing that arm out. You're trying to keep that body in the sweetest position that you can. Different view. So I have those dumbbells underneath my shoulder, my feet nice and wide. Trying to keep the hips down, bring that dumbbell back towards my hip. So that is what we're gonna give you up. You're lucky. I thought it was a push-up. 
in a row right and left. <laughs> it is a row, but the row we are counting your right and left dumbbell as one. So it's still a lot. It would be 20 total, but right and left get equal love from us. So you're going to have eight single dumbbell devils press. And I took out the push up because apparently there isn't a push up in there. <laughs> I just thought the harder version was the version, but that's okay. <laughs> we all learn here and there. Hopefully, all the time. I don't know. <laughs> so, 10 dumbbell renegade row again, no push up. You're just going to be rowing that right and left dumbbell back. And then we're going to be moving into your 12 dumbbell front squat and back to that 200 meter run or one minute of high knees. For the dumbbell front squat, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to choose single or double dumbbell today. I know this is a lot. So, if you want to do it as a goblet squile, squile, goblet squile, <laughs> goblet style squat, say that three times fast, you can do that. So a single dumbbell goblet squat is going to look like this. I'm going to do double dumbbell front squat version. However, you have choices. So you can grab the dumbbell like so. Try to get a little parallel if you can for that goblet squat. Or I'm going to do double dumbbell front squats. Your choice today, guys. It's Monday giving you options, how you feel after the weekend. So you clean those dumbbells up. They're going to be in the front rack position today if you're choosing to do the front squat. Just a little more tension on that core. Just trying to make it a fun but brutal Monday work. And then you're going to hop back on that runner or outside 200 meters or one minute of high knees. Don't worry, Alex. You can save this and let me know what you think. And you can let me know how many rounds. <laughs> All right, so again, question mark sets, minimum four, maximum eight, meaning I wouldn't do more than eight um, based on the numbers we chose today and the stimulus we're going for. So between four sets and eight sets, we're gonna have 90 seconds rest after each. We're gonna go 200 meter run or one minute of high knees, eight single dumbbell devils press total. Then you're going 10 dumbbell renegade row, right and left equaling one. Then you're going to go 12 dumbbell front squats or goblet squats, 200 meter run to finish, rest 90. Oh, Richie, you got it. How's the fitness going? Still getting it in? <laughs> I mean, you could use like a different machine or something, Alex, if you're just not in the running mood, but this is going to be a good one. Willie, have a great time with the church crew. We're thankful you took the time to stop by. It always means a lot. You got us going. I mean, we wouldn't have a clock. We wouldn't even have gotten started. We would have sent pigeons to find you. <laughs> have an awesome time, Willie. Three. Alex, the minimum is four. Minimum of four. Maximum of eight. But it's a lot, so we'll see. Could be a four day. Could be a five day. <laughs> Valerie, oh my gosh, two week countdown. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun. All right, Alex, you tell me. I'll wait for you if you're doing it. If not, no pressure. If you and uh, your son had something planned, I just, I know that you will save it and do it regardless. So just remember, guys, so we're, it's a run sandwich or high knee or machine sandwich. 200 meter run, eight devil's press, 10 renegade row, 12 dumbbell front squat, 200 meter run, rest 90. All right, time team, let's do this. Any questions? I'm just thankful you guys are here to fitness <laughs> or hang all of the above or talk about your travels, Valerie. Well, Stefan too. Everyone's making a little cookville. Cookville, stop. All right, Alex, let me know if I'm uh, venturing on. We are going to get started. I get five is... Fine, we can do five, Alex. 
bold strategy card and I like it. So the Mayhem Compete workout was five rounds. So because I added so much to this, <laughs> that's why I said between four and eight. But five sounds, that would be cohesive with the, uh, the Mayhem Athlete. You guys heard me say earlier, if you need some awesome workouts, check out mayhemathlete.com. We are basically doing a version, a pumped up version in between two of their workouts. Just more running, because Monday. <laughs> and more dumbbells, because Monday. <laughs> Surely your excitement level is the same as mine on Monday. Exciting. <laughs> Heck yes, Erica. Oh, Erica. I just like being able to cheer for you. <laughs> I cheer for you guys all the time. <laughs> in my heart, always. Okay, Alex. It is... Well, in your words, five sets, but we can always audible. 200 meter run or one minute of high knees, eight single dumbbell devil's press, 10 dumbbell renegade row, 12 dumbbell front squat or goblet squat. If you want to do a single dumbbell for that, you can. And 200 meter run, rest 90 seconds. And then our body weight version was 200 meter run or one minute of high knees eight push-up plus mountain climber right and left, 10 plank shoulder taps right and left, 12 air squat plus Cossack squat right and left, ending with that 200 meter run or one minute of high knees, resting 90 seconds as well. So both versions. I'm going to do double, Alex, because this is, it's, I'm intending to make the core tired from the Devil's Press, the Renegade Row, and using that little bit extra for the front squat. But I'm giving you the option that if you are feeling goblet squat today, I totally understand that too. All right, crew, rock and roll time. No pressure, Alex. <laughs> as long as you guys are doing some fitness, you know, six hours on the treadmill, Rich, that's crazy in a good way. Good luck. You got this. <laughs> I know you've been training, so that's going to be awesome. That, I mean, come on, Alex, that puts into Rich next week's running six hours on the treadmill. So I know we can get through five rounds of this. Heck yes. Nico, let's go. Thank you, Nico. <laughs> you guys are begging my day. All right, guys. Five sets. We're thinking 200 meter run, eight single dumbbell devil's press, 10 dumbbell renegade row, 12 dumbbell front squat, 200 meter run. Rest 90 seconds. Let's go, Nico. Alex, let's go. Time to race. <laughs> Larry, have a fabulous day. Thanks for stopping by. I know it was a little later today. But I'm thankful that you guys popped in. You guys are awesome. All right, Alex, I'm going to get Chalk, Nico, let's rock and roll. Erica, you ready to rock and roll? The other workout, 800 meter run, and it is some strict pull ups and rowing. This is the Mayhem Athlete 30 workout for the day. Go time. Larry, have an awesome day. Alex, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to start the clock. Little bear, come here, buddy. Here, come here, buddy. Good She's like, but I just want to bark and bark and bark and bark and bark. Okay, Erica's ready. Alex, Nico, ready. All right, we're going to have a 10 second countdown here, starting with our 200 meter run. And then our reps today 8, 10, 12. In case you're wondering, devil's press, renegade row, front squat, run. Just have to say it to myself one more time. Devil's press, renegade row, front squat. 8, 10, 12. We got it. And starting and ending with that 200 meter run or one minute high needs. 10 seconds. Erica, Alex, Nico, here we go. Let's go, crew. In two, one. We got this. 
snatch. Let's go, guys. Come on, Kurt. Let's go, Nico. Come on, Alex. And eight. Can you grab that other dumbbell? Remember those feet a little wider for balance. Ten renegade rows. Let's go, guys. Bringing that dumbbell back to those hips. Right and left is a one. Need to break it up, that's fine, guys. Just take that. You can drop those knees and take quick rest. Nice work. One more. Come on. Let's go, Erica. Come on, Nico. Come on, Alex. That's 10. We have 12 front squat. Or you can goblet squat, or you can the air squat, Cossack squat version. 12 squats here, we finish with our run. Nice job, gang, come on. and 12. Come on, Alex. Come on, Nico. Better, America. Let's go, guys. Finish with the runner high knees. You're four minutes in right here, guys. So right around five minutes, one minute, 30 seconds rest. Thank you, Valerie. Nice work, Alex. Nice work, Nico. That's it, Erica. You guys got this. Valerie, you're going to crush this. So I was a couple seconds under five minutes. 
So 90 seconds rest after each set, guys. So I'm gonna go again at 6.30, or just right before 6.30. You guys got this. Thanks, Rich Fit, you too. Goal this year is Spartan Trifecta. Heck yeah, that's really tough. But I think if you got if you have six hours on the uh, on the treadmill, you've got that in the bag for sure. Thomas, what is happening? Thomas, we have an extra special workout today, <laughs> meaning fun fitness. <laughs> Thomas, how was your weekend? How was the fitness? Did you crush him this weekend? He coaches an awesome. Uh, this Saturday classes. We need a name for your Saturday classes. Well, it's just extra spicy. It's push mark sets. We're thinking five, starting in 15 seconds, 200 meter run, eight single dumbbell devils press, 10 renegade row, meaning 20 because it's right and left, 12 double dumbbell front squat, 200 meter run. Heck yes, Alex, you guys are crushing it. All right, I'm starting in three, two, one. Alex, that's awesome. Let's go, Alex. Come on, Eco. You got this, Erica. We'll start with a 200 meter run from one minute high knees. Then we're going to our eight doubles press, 10 running eight, 12 pound squat, 200 meter run. Or your body weight version. Thomas, what do you do for uh, fitness today? Sneaky, you guys are crushing it. There, I know you're chipping right along. Let's go. Nice work, gang. Six, two more. That's seven. And a ten renegade row. Right and left equal one, guys. We got it through. Ten total. You have to drop your knees quick, drop them. That's seven. Come on, guys. Bringing the dumbbell back to the hip, using that lat. And ten. Twelve front squats. Let's go, guys. Come on, Alex. Come on, Nico. You're all Erica. You got this. Twelve front squats. Finishing up with that 200 meter run. And 12. That's a gang. Finishing with the uh, 200 meter run or one minute high knees. Let's go. Come on, Alex. Come on, Nico. Let's go, Erica.
Almost there, Kurt. Come on. Nice work, guys. Twelve forty-five. It's about Nico. Had a girl, Erica. We got a crew. Ooh, some technical game stuff. Heck yeah. Right, Thomas. Did everyone have a good time? Uh, no worries, Rich. Did everyone have a good time in the open, Thomas? Is everyone submitted and ready to go? Erica, let me know that total time on the uh, M30 workout when you finish. Crushing it, guys. Thank you, Valerie. Valerie, I'm so thankful you're hanging. Thomas Valerie's going to train with Rich here soon. Heck yes. Don't forget, guys, 90 seconds rest after each set. These are, you know, your full throttle sprints. <laughs> I know, right, Thomas? I've kind of, after looking through them, it's my thought as well. 15 seconds, guys, starting round three. We're over the hump after this round. 10 seconds. Let's go, Erica, almost there. Come on, finish strong, girl. Starting in five seconds. Alex, you guys are crushing it. In three, two, one. Starting round three for me. I think Alex and Nico crushing it ahead of pace. Erica, you're pulling an M30 workout. You guys got it. Round three, starting with one minute high knees for 200 meter run. Thomas, how are you feeling physically? Nice work, gang. Over the hump after this round. Let's go through. Come on. That's six. Two more here. Seven. Let's go, guys. Next up, ten renegade rows. Come on, Nico. Come on, Alex. Finish it up, Erica. Ten renegade rows. Right and left equals one, guys. Feet nice and wide. Shoulders over those wrists. Come on. Bring that dumbbell back to the hip. Use those lats. Seven. 
jump here. Let's do this. 12 front squats. Finish with that run of those high knees. Let's go. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Alex. Finish strong. Erica, you got this. 12 front squats. That's eight. And 12. Amazing job, crew. Finishing with that 200 meter run or one minute high knees. We're on the hump. One of our last two to go. Come on, guys. Nico, how are we feeling? 411, you guys are flying. Heck yes. Crushing it, guys. High fives, gang. Killing it. Nice. How did the team workout go? Erica, 11.58. Heck yes. Girl, you crush it. That sounds like an awesome one. She did the M30 today, which was a, it was 800 meter buy-in, Erica. 800 meter buy-in and cash out and then it was some rows and five strict pull-ups i believe or no it was five strict pull-ups 15 air squats for five sets i think erica <laughs> valerie have a wonderful day thanks for stopping by oh that'd be awesome thomas he definitely rich definitely needs to train with thomas your tactical games genie elbow i get that have you been doing the um elbow exercises Alex, you and Nico are killing this workout. Keep crushing it, guys. Three rounds in, two to go. Alex is the boss. He said five. <laughs> he picked your fate today, Nico, just so you know. <laughs> Ten seconds here, starting round four. <laughs> Thomas. Oh, starting in three, two, one. Erica, amazing job on that M30. You flew through that girl. Come on, Nico, come on out. I'm throwing the hump down. Second to last round always goes by fast. Because you know you only have one more. Thomas, did you get the pistols today? Oh, I saw those. Nice work, guys. Keep cruising, you got this. here. Devil's friends is burpee and dumbbell snatch. Come on, crew. No matter what version you're doing, you got this.
six, two more. Come on, guys. We're 21 minutes in. Keep moving through. That's a nice job, day. Ten renegade rows. Dumbbells under those. Shoulders being nice and wide. Right, left equals one. Come on. You got it. Push through here, gang. Bring that dumbbell back to that hip. Use those lats. You have to break quick breaks. Come on. That's five. For you. 12 front squats. Come on. You're going to finish up with that runner or those high knees. Let's go, guys. Light at the end of the tunnel. Come on. That's ten. Two more. And twelve. Come on, Alex. Come on, Nico. You guys have to be approaching your last set here. Two hundred meter run. One minute, my knees, guys. Finish up round four. Five, eighteen. Come on, start next. I agree. Alex, you guys are smoking it. Nice work, Alex. Nice work, Nico. Crushing it, guys. Erica, you crushed this too. Alex said round four was 422. Heck yes. <laughs> ah, Thomas. Fair, fair. <laughs> we have one more set, guys. You guys are doing amazing. This is great. <laughs> 411. Heck yes, guys. Uh, Erica, right now I'm at 2430, and I'm going to start the final set at 2518. So it'll be right around a 30 minute workout. It's five sets. Uh, YouTube. Same name, YouTube. We have an awesome, awesome, that's where our tribe lives. <laughs> They're amazing. All right, so how about, let's see. 20 seconds here, guys. <laughs> Sorry, math. Thomas, I need you to be doing the math for me. <laughs> yes, Alex, I think uh, Alex threw out five rounds. I like that. I said between five, five is plenty. It's a lot of volume here. Nice job, gang. <laughs> Sir George. All right, guys, starting in three, two, one, a couple seconds behind. Sir George, how are we doing? George, it's late in Spain. What happened to that? Finished up our final set, guys. Started to hear me to run. Got one minute behind you. You guys got this. Come on. Alex, you go last sec. Now you guys are moving through. Come on. Final set, you got this. Let's move this fast. Come on, guys. 
Six to go. Come on, Nico. You got this. Come on, Alex. Go, team. Come on. Keep pushing. Almost there. Just go, come on. This is eight. We're ten renegade rows. Dumbbells on your shoulders. Feet wide, right and left. Come on. Come on, you can. You got this. Finish strong, Nico Alex. Come on. You got it, guys. That's fine. Try to keep that butt down if you can. Almost there, guys. Hang on. And 10. 12 fronts once. Come on, guys. Can you go out? Finish it up. Here, finish it up. Come on. Both front squats, 200 meter run, the one minute high knees. And 12. Finish that run of those high knees. Come on, guys. Final push. Three get fitter. Let's go. Come on. You got it. Fastest set. Come on, guys. Whatever you have left. Come on, Gary. Let's go. Come on. You got it. We're almost there. the uh, five sets was perfect. High fives. Amazing job, guys. Alex, yeah, Erica, thank you guys for doing that. That was great. Alex says that was gross. That was gross. That was good Monday finish gross. Woo. Wow. M60. George did M60. Erica said M30 was good warm up. Heck yeah, Erica. Erica, are you doing this one today or uh, tomorrow? Did you do the pull-ups, Erica? Number 5402. Heck yes, negative split, Alex. Amazing. Heck yeah. His last one was his fastest one. You, oh my gosh, you took 20 seconds off the one before that. Awesome work, Alex. 
George did M60, which was 600 meter run, three pull ups, nine squats. That looks like a fun one, too. I love any Murph type esque. You're great at running, George. I bet you love that one. Uh, YouTube, Mike. <laughs> We're all fitnessing together. That's where, that's where I just said the tribe lives. The tribe is awesome. So, it's Mayhem Athlete Crew. Five, oh, Erica, heck yeah. Erica, no quitting, Erica, always. Oh, George, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. <laughs> George, who needs leave? It's 11 where George is. I love that he comes to hang out with us no matter what. George, you're awesome. You know, the bomb.com. <laughs> An old, old joke. <laughs> uh, 402, Alex, you and Nico smoked that. Nice, Willie. Willie made it back. Oh, I love our tribe. You guys are just so great. <laughs> Erica, it was because you can really, really push the runs. I feel like I stayed really smooth on the dumbbells. I could definitely move them fa faster, but I wanted to just keep them nice and smooth and then kind of control the runs. But now I feel like in retrospect, I probably could have pushed um, the second run each round a little bit faster. Uh, but really, most of this, if you're doing the dumbbell version, is going to be your dumbbell proficiency. So I would say, like I said, because it's so high heart rate and all of it, I would just say, you've heard um, Rich and the gang say smooth is fast many, many times. In that case, that's 100% the case in this workout. 90 seconds rest is a good amount of rest, but it is still going to be high heart rate. So grab that water, take a couple deep breaths in between, reset. Once you get over the hump, because they are longer, longer intervals, once you get over that third round, it's just hang on, you got this. Thomas, yes. So Thomas has messaged me talking about his, uh... <laughs> Nico, thank you. Nico, I'm so thankful you guys did this. Nico, how was that? Uh, so Thomas has been doing his zone two. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, right, Thomas? It's 20 minutes with a vest, is it? Step back lunges or do you lunge forward? How do you lunge? But it's basically 20 minutes of lunges. I want to do that live with you guys. Go live with Thomas and anyone else that wants to join in. I want to try this zone too that Thomas speaks of. But definitely it's going to be the kind of thing I was asking Thomas how many lunges he figured he would get on that. So you have to be careful with lunges. If you don't lunge a lot, A, for your knee health, but B, you know, that's kind of one of those things that you could do too many if you're not comfortable or used to them. So we have to like play it by ear, but Thomas, let's do it this week. I want to do it. Zone two, 20 minutes of lunges. Nico, me, I love it. Heck yeah, George, he did too. <laughs> Erica, don't be scared. You're super fit. You got this. Uh, Stefan, lots and lots of people right now are complaining of allergies, to be honest. I've encountered a lot of people. My dog started coughing from the chit when we went from Florida back to here. So... I don't have allergies, so I don't really know. I did wake up a couple nights with like super dry throat. So, um, but I did a girl that I saw in yoga this morning was talking about it. And then I've had like five other people tell me. So if you do take allergy stuff, definitely be aware. The seasons have changed and they're, uh, it's hitting some people here. So find some Tennessee. I have local Tennessee honey if you need some. <laughs> they say to have honey local to your area will help with allergies. Okay, walking lunges. No, oh, I bet, Stefan. Glad that you're asking for allergy sake. Thomas says he does walking three to four and then turn around. Thomas says if you don't lunge, I do 10 to 15 minutes, no weight vest. That sounds about right. <laughs> Even starting with five, I feel like would be good if you don't lunge. <clears throat> Hard but good. Nico, yes. Nico, thank you so much for doing this and getting your dad to do this. That was so fun doing it with you guys. It was a perfect push. My heart rate was definitely got, I think it was like 164 on the, after the, uh, the front squat to run. Jeez, step a 50 pound weight vest. Be walking like a dog in socks after that. <laughs> right, Willie? I know. I feel like Thomas, I, I feel like I'd pro well, I don't, I don't know if I feel the difference in my knees for a forward or a step back. I have to try. <laughs> Come on team. We're going to go live all together this week. I still have the links. 20 minutes. <laughs> George, I'm waiting for the rest. <laughs> Alex, what do you think your heart rate would be for 20 minutes of lunges? 
All right, Thomas, George needs another workout. <laughs> Not 20 minutes of lunges, apparently. I would definitely wear knees. I wear like knee everything. Can I wear like a full body wrap, <laughs> Thomas? But I'm serious. We should definitely do it. What day do you guys want to do? Uh, we're doing 20 minute of lunge challenge this week. Again, this is very scalable. If you do not lunge often, you're going to start with five minutes. <laughs> then you could go to 10, 15, 20, based on the amount. I mean, that's a lot. He's been doing this a lot. I know, Willie. I'm like, my knees are finally feeling better from the, uh, the prehab and yoga and everything. <laughs> like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Lunges on the air runner. Is that even possible? I don't know if I've ever tried that. This Devin, have you tried that? Yes, Erica, you're going to crush this. It's going to be awesome. Erica, you run so fast, I guarantee you'll be done like 25 minutes. <laughs> Wednesday night lunges. I'm in, Thomas. All right, team, let's go. What time is night for you? <laughs> Wait, no, uh, Thomas, you're behind, and you're two hours behind, right? <laughs> it's a long way to travel, Stefan. It's a long way down. <laughs> oh, an hour. Why did I think you were two hours? Okay, Thomas is only an hour behind. All right. All right, crew, you guys crushed it. Nico, Alex, Erica, thank you guys for doing this along with. Willie came in and out even between meetings. George, even though it's the middle of the night, came and ha hung out. Thomas is going to make us lunch forever. Stefan ready for his mayhem trip. Same with Valerie. Love it. Be rocking and rolling, team. Erica's getting ready for round two. <laughs> Erica, so did you do that one at the kids' house? <laughs> Alex. <laughs> well, that's kind of fun, Thomas. I would make life really interesting. I think of a lot of uses for that. Although you guys know my um, <laughs> my ADD struggles with time. I really work on it hard, but I tell you what, it is my concept of time. It's a work in progress. I don't know where it happens. I think I might need to be uh, <laughs> on uh, Thomas' time. Tom, George is eight in front. Yes. Well, George, that means bright and early. You could do 20 minutes of lunges with us. <laughs> I'm excited. I, although I know like, you know, active recovery Thursday can be a real thing after that. Right, Erica, that works. They have a treadmill. That's awesome. Easy peasy. Well, George, it depends how much you've been lunging. If you haven't been lunging, then, uh, we're not going to tell you to lunge for 20 minutes and invest. If you do lunges regularly and squat a lot, if you follow a mayhem athlete, then you're probably pretty safe. Uh, but if you've been taking time off or anything, you know. Uh, guys, what are you guys thinking for tomorrow? I know it seems like later is more challenging. I was thinking about doing an earlier one, like early morning one tomorrow, but I can be persuaded to do afternoon too. Uh, I was thinking either uh, 7, 7.15 a.m. or afternoon. 6 a.m., Thomas. Although, I mean, I get up early. I'm up at that time. <laughs> well, we could think of a different movement, so you could just come hang out with us, George. We're going to go live as a group. I'm sending out links. We're all going live. <laughs> I know. Well, George, that's why we've been doing prehab. Willie, I don't know about you, but my knees actually do feel better. Oh, nice, Erica. Erica, I actually like the mix up of out and back running, to be honest. Like, I'm meaning running outside and the treadmill. It's a good balance. At eight, well, that's perfect. I have yoga at 8.30, Alex. <laughs> Diane, I, Diana, I was literally just about to ask and see where you've been. We did a fun workout. I think you're gonna like this. Farmers carry, Thomas, how many, how, who can farmers carry for 20 minutes? You'd have to duct tape the 
weights to my hands. <laughs> but you mean you can stop on the treadmill and drop the weights, right? Oh, Diana, we missed you. You have to give this one a try and let us know. It's It was kind of like a, a playoff of compete and mayhem athlete. <laughs> Overhead. Jeez, George, now they're just messing with you. <laughs> oh, okay, Thomas. I thought you meant like unbroken. <laughs> well, here we go. See? It's going to be a fun one. We have... Diana, we have a challenge we're going to do together this week. Anywhere from five to 20 minutes of lunges. Thomas claims 20 minutes of lunging is zone two. So we're going to give his uh, his party a try as a team. I know, I've missed you guys so much. George, I know. Well, George, well, we might have to just pick a, a communal time. I mean, we can't miss each other doing this, you know? Yes, Diana. We're trying to figure out a time for tomorrow. It's either going to be 7, 15 a.m. or the afternoon. <laughs> ah, Thomas, yes. <laughs> or it doesn't count. A wrap. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, Stefan, you might be delirious enough by the end, you know? After, okay, there we go. All right, guys, I'm going to try. We'll see. Obviously, I'm, I'll give my best effort here. I would like to get it done in the AM is the goal. All right, crew. Well, I have missed you guys so much. And I'm so thankful you were able to pop in here at the end. I've missed you guys so much. Sorry about the crazy weather last week and missing Thursday, but we're back at it this week. We'll be live plenty of times. That was a super, uh, that was one heck of a mayhem Monday. <laughs> little hybrid mayhem athlete workout. But crew, you guys are awesome. Super thankful for you. Thanks for taking the time today to get this fitness in. We'll either be back in the morning or afternoon tomorrow, TBD. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's funny. Well, George, you can do the carry where you go live together. I send you guys links. You set up your phone. We do it. Willie, hope you have fun at Bible study. <laughs> I have heard all of the nicknames like Stefan. <laughs> well, Stefan, we will probably see you this week. Thank you, crew, for stopping by today. Stefan, Willie, George, Erica, get, let me know how this goes if you do this tonight or tomorrow. Keep me posted. <laughs> Whoa, Alex, that's a lot of pressure. I'm going to try to go live at 7.15, but if you need rest, rest. <laughs> I have to look at what the Mayhem athlete does tomorrow, see if we'll be doing something wild or if we're gonna be doing the M30. Diana, we'll, we'll see you in the morning. Crew, Thomas, George, thanks for stopping by, no matter what time, always, you know. Erica, gang, Nico, awesome work today. Yes, Erica, let me know how it goes. Thomas, have an awesome evening. Stefan, crew. Diana, like I said, thanks for popping in. Everyone that stopped by today, you guys are amazing. I will hopefully see you guys in the morning. If something changes, I will keep you posted. You guys are the best. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow.